Uh, we'll start off with the beauty items, okay? Be beauty items. Beauty, beauty items. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I'm just gonna apologize in advance if you hear any background noise like my daughter, the baby, my husband is looking after them, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just different when my husband does look after them. So let's hope that I can get through this video quickly. Today I am filming a haul. It is a collective haul of uh, quite a few items that I have picked up over the past sort of few months. There is a couple items that I have been gifted as well, but I will let you know about those, of course. So first and foremost, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you do love luxury videos, then I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos, which is on every Wednesday and weekend uh, US time. We're going to start off with the beauty items first. Something that I actually picked up that is a limited edition item from Dior. Now, you probably have seen this all over Instagram. This is the Dior Forever Perfect Cushion, but this is actually the limited edition one. So it actually says on the top there, if this will focus, that it's a limited edition one. So it's the Diorama, uh, Dior, Dior Mania edition. And this is quite hard to get. This sold out quite quickly and I wasn't able to get it. However, um, I've mentioned to you guys before that in the luxury Facebook groups that I'm in in Australia, it's a really fantastic community and um, someone happened to share that they knew that their sales associate had received stock of this. This is in the shade 2N, which translates essentially to 020 in Dior, which was what they used to have their shade names as, like they had 020, 030, or like that sort of thing. Um, the price on this, I think there's 109 Australian dollars if I'm not mistaken. But what was also cool was that she actually gave me quite a lot of samples as well. So she was generous in the samples too so I had a fantastic experience with her um, you know paid on the day my credit card she shipped it out to me um, I think it was that same day sort of thing so it arrived really quickly I've got heaps of perfume samples I think I got one two three four five five perfume samples and a couple of um, skincare samples so I was very happy with the service from Dior at Dior Parramatta in Sydney the next couple of items I want to show you are no longer beauty so we're moving on from that but these are kind of in like a miscellaneous category I would say and they are oh they're heavy very very heavy Whew. I have two books here so I've got this is like doing weights oh my gosh they are both catwalk books this one is Dior and this one is Chanel. Dior one looks like it's up until 2017, where um, Maria Grazia was obviously already doing um, Dior then. So if I can hold this up without dropping it, because it is very heavy. I think I paid, look, I, I think I paid about 60, it would have been around about 60 odd dollars Australian for this, plus the shipping, but I bought both of them together to get the best value. Um, and I bought this, um, in a, from a store that's based in Australia. So if you are in Australia, I'm going to link it down below in the description bar in case you're wanting to get um, these books. So that's the Dior one. And I think that these are really nice um, as coffee table books. They are heavy. <laughs> so make sure you've got a very sturdy coffee table. I have them sitting here on my Otto Man as like decoration. No one uh, seems to be until 2017 as well. So obviously when we had Karl Lagerfeld too. But yeah, these are really beautiful. I think that they're totally worth the money and if you love fashion you'll definitely appreciate these but even if you don't and they're on the coffee table I think people will just appreciate looking and flicking through these. I'm going to do back to back the items that were gifted to me. They were um, from different companies of course. So the first one is from a company called Zaimu. They're actually um, a Chinese, they're a Chinese company that makes handbags. They make them by hand. Now, the reason that I decided to accept this, because generally when it comes to handbags, I am very picky. I like stuff that I know that I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Um, but I actually chose this because I like the design. For, I actually really do like the design for myself, but I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I would use it. Um, but I definitely love it for my daughter. So I picked this out with my daughter in mind. So, and it is actually quite spectacular. I think that when you see this bag, you're going to understand what I'm saying. If you like bags that are quirky and very artsy, if you like that kind of bag where it gives that real artsy sort of quirky vibe where you can see that there is some history behind it. And I'm not talking about like the kind of history to do with the fashion house. I'm talking about like where they've got their inspiration from. And you'll understand in a second. So this is the bag here. This is called the Wave Bag. And now why I'm saying is that this has actually been modeled after the Chinese wooden blinds. So it's 
also using the Chinese origami effect. So that's why I'm saying if you like bags that are artsy, quirky, and they've got some history to do with how they've been modeled after. If you like that, then I think that this company is actually something that you should definitely check out if that's up your alley. But I did select this for my daughter because I think that this is going to be so cute for her when she grows up. It does come with a shoulder strap as well. It is all leather too. Um, if you are interested in that kind of quirky sort of artsy design, I do have a coupon code with them for 15% off, which is Purse on Fleek. So just enter Purse on Fleek at checkout. Obviously, go and have a look at the website. It may not be for you, but if you do like those kind of bags that are modeled after something in quirky and artsy, then definitely check them out. So this is the shoulder strap, and I love this shoulder strap. Like, if I had a blue bag, like I do have a dark blue bag that's like this, but I don't think I can attach the strap to it. But if I say had an Hermes bag that was a dark blue, I would definitely attach this strap to it, providing it had gold hardware. Because look, that's the main side of it the navy blue, but then you'll be able to see that pop of colour with the pink. So I think that this strap is awesome, so I'll probably end up using this strap. I'm going to try and not use the bag, I want to save it for my daughter, but I do like it. I think, I think it's really quirky and cute and fun. Um, and the price point, I mean, it's still, it's fairly reasonable. It's not up there with the expensive price points like Louis Vuitton and that, but it's still under $1,000 USD. I think it's around about the 500 USD mark, a little bit less, some of them. So yeah, that's from the company Zymu. I will link them down below uh, in the description bar and obviously the coupon code Personal Fleet for the 15% off if you are interested in anything that they have. But the other item I was gifted was from a company called Zeno Jewels. So they are obviously a jewellery company. I've had a lot of jewellery companies reach out to me and pretty I'd actually say at least 9 out of 10 I have knocked back. I've only worked with um, another company before and now I decided to work with these guys because when I had actually had a look at their website, the pricing was very reasonable. They do stealing silver, so it's 925 stealing silver. It's guaranteed nickel free, which is the most important thing to me is nickel free. I have an allergy to nickel, I have an allergy to costume jewellery, and I've filmed a video about it before, how I, have to, how I have to actually go about wearing costume jewellery, which is a bit tedious, but um, I decided, look, you know, I'm going to give this company a go, because they say they're nickel free, it's stealing silver, so I shouldn't get allergies from it, and I have already opened this, I just wanted to show you guys how it comes, so this is a box here with the ribbon on it, um, it comes with a a pouch so that way if you want to travel with your jewelry you can put it inside here it's like a soft kind of velour sort of pouch this is really cool actually i don't have anything to actually travel with my jewelry so i'm definitely going to take um be using this uh it comes with a silver polishing cloth and then it also comes with um like the one year warranty for zeno jewels that it's got a one year warranty guarantee and here is the 925 Stealing Silver Certificate. So it tells you the um, results and that sort of thing. Like I don't really understand this stuff, but you can see here that they've actually made sure that they're being very transparent with their customers on the grading of the Stealing Silver and all that thing. So I appreciate that that it came with those extra things just for transparency. So let's open this up. I have already looked at it because I wanted to make sure, I wasn't gonna just reveal something even though it was gifted if I didn't like it, if I thought that the quality was crap, but I do actually really like this. I'm really quite impressed with this. So the first item that I picked out is a tennis bracelet. Now this, obviously, like I said, they're both in stealing silver. Um, it's got this beautiful glisten. So I, I believe that the company also kind of it's kind of like uh, artificial diamonds that they sort of use. I think that's if my understanding. Like it's supposed to look like they're diamonds, but they're obviously not. But what I liked about this tennis bracelet is that it's actually adjustable because I have wanted a tennis bracelet for quite some time and I could never find any that were adjustable. So it's got that ball here. And you just pull this to make it smaller. Like that. So yeah, this is beautiful. I'm looking forward to wearing this because I have very small wrists. My wrist is only 14.5 um, centimeters. So now I actually have a tennis bracelet that I can wear on my tiny wrist. It's there on my wrist. Very easy to adjust as well. And then the other item is a wedding band set. So this is where I'm talking about like that kind of artificial diamond look. They sell wedding band sets. Say you're wanting to know if this size ring is going to work for you as your engagement ring, your wedding band. Um, these are a good idea to go and buy one of these sets because at least they're stealing silver as well and they're nickel free. And they look really good. Like I showed my husband, he's like, wow, that looks really good. That's quite impressive. That might actually look better than your actual wedding set. So that's it here. 
if you can see that. I'll probably just include some close-ups as well, just in case the camera's not capturing it right. They obviously have other rings as well too, but I just chose the um, the wedding set. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think the quality is really nice. I think that the jewelry is really beautiful. I do also have a 20% off coupon code with Zeno Jewels. So that's code MELA20, so M-E-L-A 20. And I'll have all the details linked in the description bar again down below. So those are the two items that were gifted to me. Um, not sponsored or any way. I haven't received any payment for it. I just liked those items when they reached out to me. And like I said, I get a lot of a com lot of companies that reach out to me and uh, most of the time I just knock them back because I'm not impressed by what they're sort of selling anyway. Now let's move on to shoes and clothing. So I have some dupe shoes to show you. These are dupes for the Bottega Veneta shoes. So you could probably recognize these. They're actually leather, which is very, very, very important because I bought the Zara style dupe and they were not leather and they hurt my feet so much. I ended up with blisters. So I gave them to my mum and said, here you go, like you, you're a size smaller than me. So they won't give you blisters, just wear them around the house. And that's what she's been doing. But I found these on eBay. If they are still available, of course, I'll link them down below. And they were very super cheap. They were under $50, made of leather. So, so comfortable. Like look at the bottoms of those soles. They are dupes, so if you're okay with dupes, then yeah, these would be perfect for you. I would I would potentially buy the Bottega Veneta shoes, but I'm just not sure they're my kind of style. So I do like the idea of dupes where you're not 100% sure you want to go and splurge on the luxury item, or you're not sure if it's you know going to be something that you'll want to keep in your collection. Sometimes dupes are just the better way to go. That way you're not wasting money, because especially with shoes, pretty much once you wear them, you lose 50% of the value. Like, shoes are ridiculous when it comes to resale. So... I just went with the dupes and I'm really happy with these anyway. Very comfortable, very cute. Uh, the next clothing item that I have is from Matches Fashion. Now they do have a sale going on at the moment. If these are still available, I will link them down below because I think I only paid about $110 for these. So these are the Paco Rabanne leggings and they are very comfortable. These are in a size large because they didn't have any other sizes available, but I know they have another style of leggings that are um, in the sale at the moment. And they have the logo just running down the inside leg. And I am usually a size UK Australian 10, and typically I would take a size medium. I probably still could wear a medium, but I just find that these actually still fit well, like they fit really good. So I don't know if they run a little bit small perhaps, or maybe it's just the fact that they make them kind of small and then, just, you know, they're just designed to stretch. So yeah, these were a bargain. Very happy with them. I've always wanted these Paco Rabanne leggings. I've seen multiple different styles of them. And when I seen them for sale for that like hundred bucks, I was like, yep, yeah, I'll just get them now because that's perfect timing. Now we're on to the next clothing piece, which is a very big, expensive, luxury, ready to wear piece. And it is heavy. It is very heavy. It is a set. And I'm so happy that I have this because I have been stalking the Louis Vuitton web website to actually buy this from Louis Vuitton. And this is their spring summer, I think it's a spring summer or it might have been fall winter, I'm not sure. Um, this is a tracksuit set. Now, it comes with pants. As you can see, it's got the Louis Vuitton logo down the pants and half of it is just in black. That's the jacket, it's a hoodie style. I'll include a clip of me wearing it. Now. You probably know, and I've said this many times, I tend to never buy ready-to-wear from the boutique. Look, I sometimes do. Like, I buy, like, my Balmain t-shirts from the boutique. I've bought um, Dior from the boutique before. But I tend to not buy ready-to-wear from the boutique if it's very crazy expensive because of the fact that ready-to-wear never holds its value. Never, never, never holds its value. It is always being sold for less when it's selling pre-loved on, like, Vestia Collective, eBay, other European um, sites like Jolie's Closet Vibes Dressing. Um, I tend to never buy ready to wear brand new when it's a very high price point like this one. This one, if I had bought this in Australia from the Louis Vuitton website, I would have been paying about $8,000 for it. However, I bought this from the Rakuten Ichiba website. It was being sold as a set. It was pre-loved, but there is signs of wear. Look, I think the main sign of wear, not on the jacket, the jacket's fine. It's just the, there's like pilling in the, say, can you see that? Little fluff balls. Just in that crutch area of the pants, which is quite typical when it comes to that kind of knit style that they will get that pilling from the friction. So I'm, but I'm not worried about that. I can actually use my um, pilling machine that removes that and it will be gone. I just haven't got around to doing it. So yes, I got this from Rakuten Ichiba because there is no longer Rakuten Global Market. And it was thankfully conveniently being sold as a set and that's why I ended up getting good value on this and I ended up paying just over $4,000 Australian for it so I got really good value on it. 
I think that the person probably bought it in Europe, to be honest. I don't think that they've bought it in Japan uh, because I feel like there's no way someone would want to sell it for that cheap. But then again, with Japan, they have such a fast turnover on luxury. Like, you see how many uh, available items are there from Japan that is luxury items. Like, there's just an abundance of it. So, who knows? Um, now, this size is actually not my size. I took this in the... It's in, it's in a large. Look, the jacket's fine on me. However, the pants are a little bit too big because usually I'm a size medium. Um, so I really have to kind of pull them up high, but they do have a drawstring waist, which makes it so much better that I can kind of get away with the fact that they are a bit big. So like I said, I got this from Rakuten Ichiba because Rakuten Global Marketplace is no more, but you can still shop from Japan. All you need to do is have a Rakuten Global Express account. I'm going to link the Rakuten Global Express uh, down below to sign up. It is free to sign up. They give you a Japanese address and that's where you get your items shipped to. So that's exactly how you can still buy from Japan. You just get it shipped to your Rakuten um, Global Express address. However, there are still some sellers that will ship to you directly. This one, they actually did ship this to me directly, thankfully. There's some of them will still ship international, but it is um, quite easy to just sign up for a Rakuten Global Express address. So that way, if you are still wanting to shop from Japan and they aren't shipping international, ship it to your Japanese address. That company will take care of you. They're very fast. I've had items shipped there and then they process it within like half an hour of it arriving and then they send me a notification that they're packing it and then within the hour they've packed it and they're sending me the payment link and then within the hour they've packaged it up to ship it like either the next day or that very same day. So Rakuten Global Express is so convenient. It's a fantastic service. I'm super thrilled that I now own a very luxurious ready to wear piece from Louis Vuitton. Now I have saved Hermes for last. Yep, we have a little orange box. Let's open it up. I have already opened it up um, because I needed to make sure that it was all right. I did buy this from the online website in Australia and I think I'm just gonna give you a bit of a clue. I am eating my words when it comes to buying this. I said I wasn't gonna buy it. I actually made a mockery of it. Like, not really a mockery. I just made a bit of a tongue-in-cheek joke about this item on my Instagram, and I took a photo of it, um, you know, kind of just joking about what it is and the price of it. But it was inspired by my lovely friend Sam, and we had a laugh about it. But yeah, I, I am eating my words. I didn't think I was ever gonna buy this, but you know what? I just thought, I'm gonna buy it and give it a go because I have seen pictures on Instagram and um, it started to just really grow on me. Also, I feel as though this is less annoying than the Rodeo charm. So it is a bag charm and it is the Oran Nano charm. So this is almost as expensive as buying the Oran sandals. Like this is just a ridiculous price point. This is more expensive than the Rodeo. These are 875 Australian dollars. So they are not cheap and I know that there are probably going to be some people in the comments going that they're an absolutely ridiculous purchase. You know what? I tend to agree. They are a silly purchase. They aren't value for money but you know what I do like about the Hermes bag charms is that they tend to hold their value anyway especially when there's something like this which is harder to get a hold of. It's new and I felt like you know what? It's better to at least try it, buy it, give it a go, put it on my bag, see if I like it and if I don't I can just sell it. You know what? And I'll get, I'll at least get my money back. I should generally, especially with this kind of charm. So at least I've given it a go. You know what? And I might absolutely love it because I already can tell that when I put it on my handbags, this is far less tedious than the Rodeo charm. The Rodeo charm is only great on the Birkin, but on the Kelly bag and on the Constant, it dangles around. It gets in the way when you're opening and closing the bag. So I noticed that with this, it isn't as cumbersome. It kind of just sits there on the bag. And when you open it, it just flops off. You're not getting that tail and that nose of the Rodeo getting in the way. It's just a charm that is much more sleek. It's also smaller as well than the Rodeo. So I think that I'm probably going to enjoy this more than the Rodeo. I have actually really eased off when it comes to bag charms. I pretty much sold majority of my bag charms that I have. All I have left now is the black Rodeo. That's it. And now I've added this. I do want the all uh, one color Rose Azalee Rodeo and also the Cray Rodeo. And I think that's probably it. Unless they come out with something else again that I really like. I'm now getting much more picky with it. This one, like I said, I can't say for sure whether or not I'm going to keep it forever, um, whether I'm just going to enjoy it on my bags, or whether I'm just going to look at it in my closet and then decide, you know what, I'm not getting use from it and just sell it. I don't know, but I just wanted to get a piece of it. I wanted to try it and give it a go, because I know that this is a really hot item at the moment. 
Um, yeah, so the Oran Nano Charm. This is actually in Blue Broom, which is an absolute beautiful pastel blue. I love it. I would love a bag in this Blue Broom color. So that is everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.